For $125, I, I probably couldn't even get my car tuned and get out of town. Their great veteran, 33-year-old Steve Timmons. Kenny Birdwell is going to Barcelona by way of cable. He's just one of a handful in the Brazos Valley watching the triple cast. Three channels of pay-per-view Olympics for two full weeks. And Birdwell scheduled his vacation around the broadcast. It's rain. That's actually in the rule book. I'm not that much of an equestrian fan. I'm not that big a volleyball fan. Yeah, I know I'm going to want to watch a lot of track and field because I've never gotten to see, you know, events that you just never get to see, like the discus or the shot put. You know, the first day when it came on, I thought, well, dream team, 4.30 in the morning, you know, I'm going to get up. So I set it, alarms and everything and got all up to watch the dream team. Turned out it was Lithuanian Spain or something. And with that first experience, Birdwell's found he has to be more selective in his viewing of the triple cast. So now he spends his time searching there, for gold. What, what a lot of guts to stay in there. The first 150, and Nolan Lee's right there with you. You can see them both coming home, stroke for stroke. There's a new world record for Lin Lee. Fred. The United States will take the silver. Yeah, it looks like volleyball. Now, since Randy is one of the few to participate in the triple cast, how does he score the competition? I thought there might be a few more people in town doing it full time. Maybe that's why it's just me here and there over at their house. I wouldn't recommend it to everybody else, but I had the time. <laughs>